Okay. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to continue with pricing, but um, as you can see here, we're going to be looking at the optimal pricing of joint products produced in fixed pro uh, proportion. So these products, you can see, they are actually what we can call complementary in production because when you produce one, the other product will come as a byproduct. Like what? Like um, a firm that produces beef. Now, we know that if you produce beef, what you do is you will buy a cow. A cow. And, and for you to produce a beef, now, number one, you will have um, a beef as your main product. And then, number two, you will have a hide. A hide is a skin of, 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 of a cow. So, in this case now, with this kind of product, we call them complementary products in production. And what is going to happen now is we're going to price all of them. And, 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 and when we price all of them, you will see how we, pr we price each. Because in this case, the assumption is that we are producing beef. And, 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 and beef now here, it means what? It means one, that bulk of meat. And then one, that skin, which is a hide. Right. So therefore, what I'm going to do here with regard to pricing is, we know that uh, in economics, when we do our pricing, we have to do it in the form of demand and supply. And, and, and this is what happens. We will have this kind of a diagram. And look at it. This is quantity here, and this is price there. Now you can see the price and the quantity. The first thing that we do now is we will have to come up with um, a demand curve. And this is a demand curve for meat. And, and, and remember, our meat here is beef. So it's, I'm going to say it's DB, demand for beef. And, and, and you know that if the demand curve is like this, we can draw the marginal cost curve below, down below here. Is there? Mar sorry, marginal revenue. Now, this is there. Marginal revenue of, of beef. That is what happens. So now we have the demand curve and we have the marginal revenue curve. And then, now we must also have the demand curve for um, height. So the demand curve for height now is going to be this one smaller one here because this is not our main product. So this is the demand curve for height. It's DH. DH. And then once you throw the demand curve like that, we know that now we can throw them the marginal um, uh, 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 revenue. Now the marginal revenue now will be something like this. And that is the marginal revenue of, of height. Now, you, now, now we all understand that. Now, what is going to happen here now is that we are now going to have the marginal cost. Remember, if you buy one cow, it's just one additional cost of buying that cow. So therefore, we will have only one marginal cost. We cannot have marginal cost for height and, 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 and for, 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 for the production of beef because you buy one, um, uh, what can you call it, one cow. Now, in this case, I will have only one marginal cost. And, and I want to note it here to say now, we only have one marginal cost care. Now it's just marginal cost. We cannot even say it's a marginal cost of beef or we cannot say it's a marginal uh, cost of height because it's just marginal cost for, for that cow. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to add these two marginal revenues so that I have one um, um, marginal revenue. In this case now, I will take this, and I, and I want you to look at this. I will take this marginal revenue here, which is marginal revenue of, of um, height. And then I will just straight here, I will draw it on top of this one. So now, I will draw it here. Now you can see that now, I just took this marginal revenue of height. I draw it on top of the marginal revenue of, of beef. So therefore, it means what? This whole portion... And then now here, it goes there, going down this way. All this one now, the blue one, 
you can see the blue one now it starts here and it goes here when it gets here now it turns up so now when you get now this one this new one is the marginal revenue total so total marginal revenue so therefore total marginal revenue you can see now it's got some little bit corner here it goes down and then there's a corner here it goes down further down now marginal revenue is equal to marginal revenue of a beef plus marginal revenue of, 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 of a hide. I want to make it clear so that you understand that this funny uh, marginal revenue here is the sum of the two. And then now, the marginal cost that I talked about, I'm going to draw it now. And when I draw it, I will just throw a curve that goes up this way and then I call it marginal cost. So you can see that it goes up. Where this curve intersects, where this curve intersects total marginal revenue, which is here, at this point here, this point there. Now, when we go up, where we touch the demand curve, it will be what? The price of beef. You can see that now from this profit maximizing point here, where marginal cost goes to total marginal revenue. When we go up, where we touch the demand curve for beef, now we can determine the price of beef. But now, from the very same point, which is the profit maximizing point, when we go down, when we touch the demand curve for height, then you can determine the price of height. Now we determine the price of height. So you can see that every time for us to determine the price, we must touch the demand curve because as we started, as I said in the beginning, that the price is determined by demand curve. And I said that the demand curve is a um, price curve. That is what we said later. So therefore now, in this case, we can see that now the price of our main product, which is this one is, is, is BP, and then and that is the price of main product. But now we've got the price of byproduct here. Byproduct is the product that comes as a subset. Now we, we have the price of byproduct here, and then now this is the price of the byproduct. But now we're going to sell both. So you can see that in this case, what we are doing now is um, we are selling beef for uh, BP and we're selling uh, hide for, for pH. Now, when you go down here, now you will touch the point on Q. You can call it Q1. Q1 now will be the quantity that will be what? That will be produced. Q1 will be the quantity quantity that will have to be produced produced right so now you can see that now the way we determine the price is just the same as the way you know how to do the price in monopoly and all these kind of things it's just that here now we were combining two products and 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 then we're trying to form the what do you call them the price of both beef and hide but now what i want you to see here is that we are going to sell all. We're going to sell everything that is being produced here. And I will tell you, it's because if you look at the marginal cost here, it intersects the marginal revenue at the, at the, at the top part. At the top part of the total marginal revenue. But now, if the position of this marginal revenue here is below this corner, now we'll have different story and then I will jump to it so that you can see what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about here is this. Remember, we have this price and then we have this quantity. So we've got quantity, we've got price. That is what we, I said we have. And, 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 and now the second one is that we now have the demand curve for height here. Demand for height. And then we have that marginal, marginal revenue here. And then marginal revenue, sorry, sorry, it's not demand, it's this demand for, for beef. And then now we have marginal revenue for, for beef. So you can see that. And then I will move on now to say, what, where is the demand curve now? Demand curve for, for height is here. And then marginal revenue for height, marginal revenue for, for height is here. So now you can see what is happening here. So I'm going to, Take this line here, the marginal revenue here, I've got to draw it on top of this one here to get 
the total marginal revenue. So if we draw it here and it goes up that way, so you can see that we have marginal revenue, this marginal revenue of height, and then from this corner now going down here, it gives us the new shape of the marginal revenue total. Right, so now you can see that there's nothing that is new here. This is exactly the same as the one that we have. But now, what happens now is, I want you to look carefully at the position of the marginal cost curve now. Now, the marginal cost curve now is not above this. Now, the marginal cost curve now is below marginal cost. Now, it is below the, the corner. So, if you look at this corner now, the, our profit maximizing point will be here. That is our profit maximizing point, where the total marginal revenue intersect the marginal cost. But now, if you go up, and I'm going to go up, when you touch the demand curve for high for beef, now you've got the price of the main product. PB is the price of the main product. But now, which means now, if you go down on the quantity axis, you will produce QB. Now, beef, the quantity of beef will be here, down here. You can see that. But now, if you look at this now, we don't have the marginal revenue for for height here so which means what which means in this case now marginal revenue with um which means in this case now we cannot price the height the price of the height now is going to be priced where marginal revenue of height is equal to zero now because there's no marginal revenue here if you look at the marginal revenue here it's probably going to be negative which is below the line so therefore the price of height now will be we price it here because you can see the marginal revenue here of height is equal to zero. But if you go up and when you touch the demand curve for height, then you determine P H. So now you determine your you price your marginal revenue, you price your height where marginal revenue is equal to zero. Therefore, now your pH will be the price of the buy product by product so so what i want you to learn here is i want you to learn how to price the product here and how to price the by product here but now you can see that now we would have produced quantity remember this quantity is actually fixed so which means if you produce 10 meat you also produce 10 heights but in this case this amount of height from here qb to qh here, quantity of height, which is here, where my is going to see. Now, this quantity, Q H to Q B, you must not sell it. You must dispose it. So now, take it into the bin. You cannot sell it. Because if you sell it, according to our model here, if you sell it, then it will contribute negative marginal revenue. So that is why now we dispose. So that now we know that if we dispose it, then we do not have a negative um, um, uh, 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 marginal revenue. So in this case, you must understand that now in this case, we are not selling anything. I mean, if you go back to the first one, you will see that we were selling everything and then, then it was the same. We produced the same quantity of height, same quantity of meat and producing, uh, selling everything. But if the marginal cost now is below this corner here, now we have the other one that we dispose. And, 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 and now we will dispose QH, QB. That one must be thrown into the bin. So for now, let me end it here because I think that uh, if you go back and revise the first one to see what happens now if the marginal cost intersect there, but uh, total, margin, total marginal revenue at the top part of marginal revenue, we sell everything. But if it intersects it below, then we have to dispose some. Now we've got something that we have to dispose. So in this case, now we dispose the height. Because you see, the marginal revenue at this point, we are saying that the marginal revenue here for beef is positive. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then marginal revenue of height is negative. So therefore, we cannot produce it's negative. Therefore, we price height where marginal revenue is close to zero. Thank you very much.